Hello, Buzzercut, my name is Halsasi and welcome back to Factorio uh, here, where we are trying to push what I can achieve with uh, um, building up science. And I know there, there are players out there, they are way better than me, but so what? Um, last time, uh, and we will get in a bit into that, I said I wanted to add a mod that helps us ra uh, lay down some, some rails, and I do have that in here, basically it's, it's just a, a slightly modified locomotive, um, and we will add a station here through the middle in order to load the train with all the goodies that we need for rail lane. But let's first have a look at where we stand. Uh, we can see we had a dip again with our research. It's, it's up and running now. Um, and we are steadily at 250 with with our space signs i think all the other signs um we don't need to to worry a bit because um if we look uh here um we can see all the signs save the space signs are full so we only kick off um, producing more signs uh, if the train fetches more and if the unloading uh, takes longer then it would need to to fill the the, the signs there then we will probably see a dip here uh, on, on this side. But that's that. And I have kept my eye a bit on, uh, on all these stations. And so, okay, there are quite a few stations that are white. White meaning there is no train standing there, there is no train coming there, and um, we actually need a train to come there because we don't have enough material. And that's mainly iron, sometimes copper, and petroleum. And I went around and looked, do we have stations for loading? said material uh, and if we did so I slapped down another train so that's about I would say 15 more trains since since end of last episode so if we look here we have around 180 stations and What's that? 92 trains? 99 trains. Almost 100 trains. So, quite a bit going around there. And at least now it looks a bit uh, bit better. We do have the um, some of the sulfur acid stations. But if you look at the tanks, they are more than half full. We don't need that much sulfuric acid. And we also don't have that many trains doing the, the delivery run. So I think there it's not really a problem. We could add more, but uh, our production is not hemmed in by a lack of sulfuric acid. It's, it's mainly iron and copper uh, as well as, as petroleum. But now let's get down to it. Uh, let's add a rail line here. 
and let's make this um, file loading because the mod is called file fully automated rail layer and let's place that one down and this one is conventional requires fuel and we will add a wagon on it um, we will have A bit of loading here we will have rails and let's make that a lot of rails and here we will have big power poles. 100 should do. Then here we will have signals, these kinds. Um, let's make double the number of power poles because for each power pole we, uh, we want to plant down, we want to have a signal on, on either side of the, of the rail. Um, and that's it, I think. So, now in here. Let's add a rail there, then four, four power poles, no, two will suffice, two, two will suffice, four lights, these cans. And then I'll fill up the rest with uh, rails. And then what we will do is middle click on each of these fields, means we set a filter on this particular slot, uh, which means only that kind of item can be inserted into that slot. And that's how we make sure that when tra loading the train, we load a bit of, of everything um, and uh, don't have uh, uh, one item spammed too much. So let's maybe let's use big power poles here. And then front and back signal and then he here we want to go back on the line. Let's make this signal like that and up here We need to break this line. And come through here. And then we can reconnect this. And then we will have separate station here. 
and rename that personal. And that will be trained like this. No wagon, no nothing, just a train for us to get around uh, a bit faster. So this train is still loading and once that's fully loaded, we will head out to there and go down to here where we will add another coal mine and probably um, we also want our spider turn down there um, because we will need to add a bit of wall around the whole thing um, so that that we can deal with that and there is we can see if I hop into that train this thing pops up um, we can um, add some things uh, we want to place singles we want to place poles we don't want the concrete we want to bulldoze Oh. And we want to have um, probably we need another not a locomotive at the other end. And I think the, the default blueprint should be okay. We will we will see how we far fare with with that. So let me build another one of these. For that I need a normal locomotive. Grab one out of here. Build myself one of these. And then there. And with that, we have a double headed four layer train. And yeah, as I said, once it's fully loaded, we will head down and uh, try it out. The train is full, so let's head down and see how this this works. Oops. That's on the wrong side of track. Um, Let's fix that. And then we will have to see where the other side of uh, of that of that rail line ends up. So let's head to here. And this train is not the fastest because it's coal powered as opposed to uh, our fast electric trains. Well, I could use a different fuel like uh, rocket, rocket fuel or uh, nuclear fuel that would really speed things up but I don't really have that on hand um, so we'll have to 
let's see how that goes. So I will get out here and then let's drive this train forward manually and start the process. Okay. Um, let's bring it up a bit more. So it's on a straight line and we will have signal there in the back to not block the main line. And then let's start this. That's not how it's supposed to go. For sure, have something here in the copy where we can lay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that that will do. So that's basically where we are with uh, this way. With that part and here signal like that, that and that. Nice. We have the thing connected. So let's back up a bit to to here. Let's bring this part out. Um, remove the build also. And let's try this again. This does not work as I plan it. This is the blueprint. I do want to have. Mm. Maybe I'm just on the wrong side. So let's try. make a blueprint of that. And we also will need blueprint for diagonal. So let's read that in and let's read that in. 
And then let's deconstruct this part. Let's head to the front. Oh, that looks better. However, let's get rid of the walls. Don't need those. So let's put the blueprints down again. Remove the walls. And recreate them like so. And there. Right. Let's get rid of those. And let's try it with the new ones. Um, we want to go about down here and then diagonal. Till we run into that cliff part. Okay, let's get rid of the cliffs the old fashioned way. here and okay let's add a bit of cliff explosives there it should help and then we will have to to uh, fix all the holes that are in the line. Now that works. Yep, we are on track. Close shave here by this uh, this field. Then I think here I want to turn horizontal again so we can have this oil field um, there. Um, we can have this coal field there. And there, I think, we will have a roundabout. Uh, but not snap it to grids. of this up have a radar there and then go back the way we came from 
filling in the gaps in the line and now that I have a rail going down here I can also hook up some um, some more ore fields to uh, fill the gaps in in our needs and I will do that until next time so we are rolling in ore when we start the next episode hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon goodbye